Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I wanted to share with you what I got for Christmas. Um, for my family, I give you guys lots of videos on what I buy for other people and I always get questions and comments about hopefully my family and friends treat me well as well and they do. So I wanted to share with you some stuff. It's not everything. Um, and I still have one more Christmas to do. Not a big deal. I just thought I would show you ho, 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 what we got. And I have some coffee that my, it's some Dunkin' Donuts cinnamon bun my one brother Mike got me. And I will try to remember who gave me what. Mmm, delicious. And you all know me, coffee, cats, books. There are lots of stuff that I don't have like pens and stuff for my planner because uh, Sarah and I exchanged gifts on Friday, Thursday night. Thursday night, we gave each other one gift and it was all of our planner stuff. So I went through all of that and I'm not going by person. I'm just going to show you what I got. So I got a box of Ohio State K-Cups from Sarah and just donut shop, but they have the Buckeyes on them and that is exciting. Um, from Sarah's mom, Julia. Nope. This is from my sister-in-law, Ellen, and my brother, Jay. It says, I think, I like to think coffee needs me too. It's true. And it's a magnet. I'll put it on my fridge when I put things away. Um, sister-in-law, Julie. So, Julia is Sarah's mom and her husband, Ania, Sarah's stepdad, and her brother, Atticus, came down one day and my brother Jay and his wife Ellen, so Jay is Sarah's dad, his wife Ellen came with uh, my other brother Mike. So we did two Christmases with them and then Sarah and I did Christmas in the morning by ourselves. So this is from Julia and Aeneas and Atticus and it's an awesome umbrella. And the perfect thing is my umbrella died. It broke. And this is a nice backpack purse size one. So perfect because I needed that. Um, they also got me some new oven mitts, which I've been dying to try these. This kind, which I think will work out better. And I like that they're short and that the thumb isn't over here, that I can actually grab things. So awesome because I do a lot of baking. And to go with that, they got me this box of keto brownie mix from Costco that I'm so excited for. I was down to my last bag and I like these and it's easy and it's delicious and it's keto friendly. 12 carbs per serving, but eight sugar alcohols. So it's four carbs per serving because I don't net my carbs as far as fiber goes, but I do take out the sugar alcohol. So I grabbed that from them. Oh, and this, <laughs> y'all know my thing with the royal family. So Funny thing is, I bought this same tea with the queen on it, and she got me Diana. And I love the tea. It's English breakfast, and it's delicious. I'm going to have to set up my shrine. Guys, you're going to see in a minute. So my brother and sister-in-law also got me this tin with the queen. It has some shortbread in it, but it's the queen. And this is pretty recent, I think, picture of her. But you know I'm obsessed with the queen, right? So I got this tin. And then they got me also. So this is brother Jay and his wife Ellen. So brother and sister-in-law. God, I'm gonna have to unwrap this one. Uh, tea server uh, to celebrate 50 years reign of Her Majesty the Queen 1952 to 2002 and it's a tea kettle with a picture of the Queen. I just love it and it has like I can put my leaves down in here and there is a filter here but you'll see in a little while I can also just put hot water in here and take it to the table because I'll show you in a minute. But I also need to set up my shrine to the queen. That's gonna have to happen soon because I've got quite the collection going and I don't want to store this stuff, I wanna put it out. So I have my tea kettle. My family, they know me well, right? Most families do. So then 
Julia and Aeneas also brought me from this company called The Tea Lab, Yuletide Tea Blend. It's loose tea. I don't have it open yet, but it is green tea combined with warm seasonal spice, almonds, and a touch of rose. So it's seasonal tea. And to go with that, this mug, and it's, I won't take it out of the box, but it's got a tea filter here. So I can take out my queen tea mug, and this is purple, and that's a very royal color, and brew my tea in this cup, and then you put the lid on it to keep your cup hot, to keep your tea warm. Isn't that so exciting? I know. I got tea. I love tea, guys. I love coffee. I love tea. And I guess when we're talking about mugs, they also got me this cup that says coffee because adulting is hard. Duh. And then my brother Mike brought me with the coffee. Oh, it says my therapist has whiskers and it's a black cat. And on the back it says best friend. Isn't that the sweetest cup? And it's appropriate because it's got a cat on it. So I think my family hooked me up very well for coffee and tea, which is great because I like coffee and tea right right is that everything oh no and then sister-in-law julia and her family also brought me a big tub of pork rinds because duh pork rinds and these are mac barbecue my one of my favorites so i love that uh that may be it from nope not it from them and then she got me let me take this off from the family oh and also atticus Ooh, i'm gonna need to get this two from sticker off but i think we might have a problem um so nephew atticus is 16 now 15 and a half almost oh i'm gonna have to fix that almost 16 but anyway, he brought me a gift card. That's him. Nephew, 15, 16. He got me a Dollar Tree gift card. So appropriate, right? And then they also got me this box with white cats and glasses laying on fabric. And it is a sit-on-your-table sewing box. So I can use it for my cross stitch and there's two layers so I can put stuff at the bottom and then things I reach for scissors, floss, threaders, all those things up here. And then in the lid, my needles can go and anything I need to reach and it'll just sit on my table. Isn't that perfect? I do not know where she got this, but I will say probably like a Joanne fabric and it's magnetic. Isn't that perfect? I love it. Um, oh, I'll show you this. My brother Jay and his wife Ellen got me an air fryer. I'm so excited. Um, I've been wanting one and I said I'll wait till Christmas and this one, uh, 12 one touch cooking function, a cooking, a guided cooking prompts. There's a recipe book in here. It air fries, it bakes, it roasts, it broils, it reheats, it keeps warm, and it dehydrates. Um, Fry Force 360 degree technology, express heat element, and it does all kinds of fun stuff. So I need to watch some videos on how to work it and what I can cook in it, and I'm super excited to have that. So that was an amazing gift. Ooh, I'm moving things over here. Um, they also got me, and I need to open this so I can show you. So Brother Jay and his wife, Ellen, they have Murray and Mabel, the two kittens. And she got me, look at these. They are cat dish sponges. Are you kidding me? scrubby side here and there's two patterns a black kitty cat with a pink dress and a white one with that and they're scrubbers and it came with a pack of four i'm so excited how sweet is that 
that is the nicest thing. Uh, so I can't wait to get to using those. I got from Sarah Sykes. I think I showed you this already. It was uh, supposed to be my Christmas Eve read, but then we got working on our planners and watching movies. So I haven't read it yet, but maybe I'll take it to bed tonight and read it. But this is Homer and the Holiday Miracle, a true story by Gwen Cooper. But there is a full size book about Homer and his little story of life, if anybody is interested. The author is Gwen Cooper. So I got, I got that before Christmas. Uh, Sarah got me these leggings and they're like, uh, these are Reebok, yeah, Reebok brand. And they're, they fit pretty true to size if anybody comes across those. So these leggings in this like teal color. And to go with it, she got me this floral sweatshirt from Kohl's. And what I love is the neck is kind of a scoop neck, so it's not tight um, and it's so soft. So she got me that and it's nice and long because I like a tunic to cover up my bootylicious when I'm wearing the leggings. So that outfit. And then she got me this t-shirt. And this is for, it says bookstore cats. Life is sweet. This is from a store called Out of Print in New York. Any, they have all kinds of book themed items for different stories, different authors, all different t-shirts that are really neat. So if you have a reader or if you're a reader in your life, check out Out of Print. They're always cycling through new product and they're pretty cool. So she grabbed me that t-shirt. She got me a picture of my boys and it says employee of the month please i always refer to them as my co-workers <laughs> and so they're the employee of the month which one is the employee of the month probably not the old one mr wellington likes to be held a lot during the workday. alex obviously he is not employee of the month either because he does nothing but torment wellington while i'm trying to work so th these two need to work on their employee of the month name but I love them anyway so I did get that uh brother Jay and his wife Ellen got me this really cool hat I'll take Santa off this hat and the fabric is cats and it's made out of cotton and it's local so it's like a t-shirt material but it's a um this kind of hat keeps your head warm, right? But the cool thing is, let me get this back on because my hair. The cool thing is if you have, it's tight up here, right? But if you have like a top knot or a bun or a ponytail, you can loosen it up and wear it with a ponytail. If not, it tightens itself back up. It twists somehow. It's like magic if you ask me. And I can wear it as for me, just a regular old beanie, but I love it, especially to on cold days to keep my head warm and it's so cute and it's got kitty cats on it and that's what's important. So they got me that and this was locally made someplace. I don't know exactly where, to be honest with you, um, I'd have to ask. It's somewhere local to me though. Did I just flip that? I don't know what I did. I made a mess. Guys, I made a mess. Okay, here we go. Fixed it. So it's a beanie and it's super cute and it's locally made. Then Ellen, sister-in-law, brought these back from Myrtle Beach. Uh, my other favorite queen, Freddie Mercury. And on the bottom, they say good luck socks. Like what? Uh, yes. Hello. I have Freddie Mercury on a pair of socks. Please, ugh, my hair. Please don't be jealous of my queen socks. I'm so excited. And they're goodlucksocks.com if you're interested. There's a store down there that sells all kinds of vintage tees and stuff, like concert tees and things. So Freddie Mercury was on this. They grabbed me those. My Sarah got me, these are trekking poles for backpacking. I'm not gonna take them out, but they are collapsible, which is perfect. They'll fit in my backpack or in my gear. And they open up and you use them when you're walking. And then I also use them to put up my tent 
And I liked these because they came with different, um, like if I'm in the snow or in like sand or something, there's a different foot for each thing. Um, or like this is a rubber walking foot. If I'm on cement, I would use it for that. And then each of them has their own storage bag. So she got me these, which I did ask for from somebody. I just needed a new set. When I was backpacking the last time, my other pair broke, one of them broke. And they last for a fair amount of time, but it was time for a new set. So I got these, which was very exciting. And she got me this bag, but what makes it so cool is it is a cross stitch bag. So I can put a project in here and then there's these little sections. So like this may hold scissors or a pattern or whatever. And then there's two sheet, two separate sets. These hold floss. You put your embroidery floss in here and I can hold one, two, three, six, nine, 18 different colors of embroidery floss. And then another project over here. And it, it'll hold two full projects. Zip it up and I can just take it to go and everything stays together. I love it. So excited for that. And hopefully my trip is on. Oh, and Sarah also got me some of these Women Empowering Women and Girl Power pins. She also got me an enamel pin that says, I am the 19th, meaning the 19th Amendment, which gives women the right to vote. So it says, I am the 19th on it, which I love that. I'm super excited to have that. She, I, I think I told you, she also got me a lot of office supply stuff for my planner, which is super exciting. So we got all kinds. I got cat um, paper clips and markers and pens. Oh, so much, so much stuff. She got, nope, this was from Julia, Sarah's mom and stepdad. It's a chargeable drill. I needed something smaller. I had a really large one and it was hard to hold and use so this one is a rapid fire so you see in here those three things they go up in here almost like a bb gun or one of those pop guns and you can turn it to the size screwdriver you need and it charges up uh there's a light on it so when i want to because I'm not building a house. I'm hanging pictures, you know. I don't need a big heavy-duty drill. I needed something to help me, and this is perfect. Good size for my hand, and I'm excited to get that charged up. Uh, two more things. From Sarah, my my favorite books to read are The Black Dagger Brotherhood by J.R. Ward. It's the, my favorite series of all. Um, and I love a lot of books, but this is a favorite of mine. So she went on Etsy and she had this mug made, well, bought this mug that was made. It says Black Dagger Brotherhood. These are the names of all the main characters. It's a vampire book. It's, I mean, this woman did such a fantastic job. Black Dagger Brotherhood here and up here. These are pages to a book that she singed and encased in the enamel. So this is enamel coated it does come with a straw i think it holds 20 ounces which is perfect because the bigger ones are too big for my hand but i i can't tell you how excited this makes me because coffee and my favorite book please let's all just take a moment to calm down okay i know i know now for those of you who've been around and have seen the air freshener in my car with my brother's face on it I won Christmas this year. I don't care what they say. I will try to find a picture of what I got him, but it's glass and it spins and my picture's on each page. He got us 12 months of Jay. That's my brother Jay and his daughter. And it's an entire calendar of pictures. This is me and Jay and Sarah. Sarah's his daughter, if I didn't mention that. Um, and it goes on and on and on. That's brother Jay. He was, uh, he did the military flight for Vietnam vets. That was his veteran that he supported that day. Uh, brother Jay. And then the last picture of brother Jay 
is his Christmas picture that he wore to work one year. So I have 12 months of Brother Jay to look at. Mine was still better. But that is everything that I have handy that I got for Christmas, besides what I've already showed you from you lovely folks and my other Christmas I have to go to and a few other things that I don't have my hands on because I already put away. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed and please know I'm not bragging. I just love to share and I know I get lots of questions and so I wanted you to come along. All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will talk with you later. Bye.